Stuyvesants. The Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dare? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick, the investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. If you want to pass, you need to comply to a frisk, sir. Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. Did you know there's anything out before? Right, that's it. Keep moving, please.
talk to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay. Doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas. Good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that? Bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say that... Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. Every quarter they threw at me. How? How could you do this? I can't be fired. Uh, that poor guy. He did well for us. I mean, he closed the Berman account, which netted the bank a cool ten million.
He's come to the director's office. I feel like giving that bit woman a piece of my mind. I gave this place everything. I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Greeting, sir. supposed to let anyone from IT in there? That's right. You know how crap this whole building is with the wireless and how the director hates seeing cables anywhere? Well, she had a router installed in her office, but it dies a lot. Hence a need for IT to drop by every now and again. Got it. Uh, Chuck, was it? Look, I'm going for a round. Nobody gets in or out of the conference room unless I say so. I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think it... Oh. Yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Excellent, 47. This should be a termination. Director Savalas won't Mr. forget. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard, leave the room. I need a moment alone, Mr. Jackson. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. Don't get it. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47.
Once the first backup data disk secured, two more to locate. Squad, lay it on me. What's the conclusion? We good? Yes, sir, man. We've been reviewing for just a few hours. It's not hard enough to get through the substantial amount of documentation. You were supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there. Third day, huh? How are you finding me? Lovely. I actually worked with Athena about 10 years ago. That was before the Time to drop by. Now, we've looked through all your paperwork, and I'm pleased to say that we here at Milton Fitzpatrick would very much like to extend your. And I'm glad to hear that. But I have one question. idea what I'm doing. Just hope it'll work. Contact. He's seen some action. This is the vault for I'm really sorry, but we've had the data core should be behind that large steel door. Oh, it's just stupid hot on you today. Do not turn on the AC.
My dad came by the bank last week. Lives out of town, but drove in to see where I work. Oh, that's Damn. nice. Yeah, I gave him a tour side. and everything. Afterward, we went to this little diner over on 5th, and he told me the strangest thing. Though he's a Freemason, been a member of a local lodge since I was a little kid. And he told me that Milton Fitzpatrick serves more Masonic members than any other bank in the U.S. Is that right? Uh, it sounds like a coincidence. I mean, it's a big investment bank. Work 47. You now have access to the vault. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data.
I know what you're thinking, 47. <laughs> you won't fit. Tough guy in that outfit. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47.